Hello everybody, Curious Corduroy here, and I wanted to make a quick and short follow-up video to my State of Play video that came out yesterday, but I wanted to single out one game in particular, and that is the game that I am affectionately calling not Dino Crisis, and that is Exoprimal. The more I thought about the game, the more I was like, hey, okay, this could be like a fun, cool, wacky third-person shooter. But the more I thought about it, the more bummed out I got that it wasn't Dino Crisis. Capcom fans, survival horror fans, have been asking for years to have Regina come back and to do a Dino Crisis remake or even do a sequel. But we finally have this really powerful engine in the RE engine that can seemingly make any type of game. It seems like a very, very powerful and versatile engine. And now, really, more than ever, seems like the best time to bring Dino Crisis back and, and to see what that game could be on current gen hardware. So the fact that we finally get a dinosaur based game <laughs> and it's not Dino Crisis really does suck. And the fact that the, one of the characters in the game looks an awful lot like Regina, I don't know if it's meant to be like a cute little Easter egg or a wink and a nod to fans or if it's Capcom kind of trolling us. It honestly bums me out. But then, I started to think, what if, just what if this game is sort of a test run for a potential Dino Crisis remake? I know, it sounds like copium, I get it, but how often has Capcom made games with dinosaurs in them? Really, really think about it. Other than Dino Crisis, they don't really touch dinosaurs, right? They could have easily made Exo Primal a game with zombies in it instead of dinosaurs or like, I don't know, mutated bunnies or trees or, or what have you. But they went with dinosaurs. Why is that? Maybe they want to test run what dinosaurs could potentially look like and in a future Dino Crisis game. What's the T-Rex going to look like? How will these creatures behave in the RE engine? What's the AI going to be like? How many dinosaurs can we fit on screen? What are the limits that we can push with these creatures? It just kind of makes sense, you know? Maybe it's a far-fetched thought that this could be a test run for Dino Crisis, but it seems really weird to make a dinosaur-based game that isn't Dino Crisis when your fan base has been clamoring for years for Dino Crisis. It just really doesn't make much sense to me. Also, it's entirely possible that maybe this game did start off originally as a Dino Crisis game, but somewhere in development, things just changed way too much and they ended up with a new IP, which is now Exoprimal. I know Maximilian Dude has said that that happens quite often in Japanese game development where a game will start off as one IP and then halfway through or some point during the development process, it becomes something so drastically different that they have to change it. With the most recent example being given by him, uh, which was Sekiro. Sekiro originally started off as a Tenchu game, but during development it just changed way too much and they ended up with a new IP. And granted, making video games is not cheap. <laughs> it's incredible incredibly expensive. However, Capcom, now you have dinosaur assets, you know? And Capcom is very, very good and smart about reusing assets, just tweaking them slightly even for future games. So if you wanted to make a Dino Crisis, you now have the dinosaurs to do so. And at the end of the day, this video could be one large MP4 file of copium. I really don't know, but I'm holding out some hope that maybe we will someday see Regina again. Not the girl in the exoprimal game that looks a lot like Regina but doesn't sound like Regina. It's really confusing. I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments on what you think about exoprimal. What's going on with this Regina lookalike? And do you want a Dino Crisis remake or a sequel? And if you do, how would you want it to be done? I am Curious Corduroy. I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, be excellent to one another.